Okay, so I've managed to finish um, my Freedom Friday project. Um, so if I launch Alfred and start typing new M, uh, B is the shortcut, but that is the top item. Uh, then I can choose um, what I want to search for. So I can search for everything, forum posts, documentation, or packages. So let's do packages. And then what do I want to search for? Um, and then I can just type forms. It's then querying the API. Unfortunately, it's not as fast as I would like it to be, but here we can see the results. So uh, simple forms, Embarker forms, and you can see we've got some kind of context underneath the number of downloads um, and the number of uh, comma points. And then I can just uh, click Embarker forms, hit enter, and uh, it opens in a new tab. Um, so we can repeat it. Let's just do UMB and let's do uh, forum posts for uh, examine. Um, so there's seven replies on this one and it's not been solved. Uh, so maybe we can change the icon depending on uh, if it's solved or not. Uh, so. This one's got no reply, so maybe we'll take a look at this one. Examine for dummies. Um, so, uh, just to summarize how it works, let's uh, take a look. Uh, so, uh, Arm Broker actually had API endpoints, which was nice, which returns uh, some JSON with examine results. So we've got things like um, get global search. So that searches everything and you just give it a term. So here we can see the items. Um, and then in the fields, we have things like node names. So that's the name. Uh, so analytics, uh, so it's a project. Um, uh, so we can see extra fields like karma, uh, the popularity, number of downloads and things like that. So hence that's in that kind of second, second line. Um, again, so this one is a, excuse me, a forum post. Um, so, and we've got different um, API endpoints uh, R, R and Braco seems to expose, which is awesome. Uh, one for documentation, one for forum searches, uh, one for projects, and then the one for global search. Um, so Alfred uh, needs the JSON back uh, in a very specific format. Um, so, uh, being lazy, uh, I was using a service called, uh, webtask.io, um, which is just, uh, allows you to create, um, simple, uh, executable, um, Node.js, which they just host for you. So you can just do a curl to, uh, the, from, so basically, uh, Alfred is doing a curl request to uh, this web task, uh, passing in certain parameters, so the type of search uh, and the query that we want to perform. So if we take a look, uh, so this is, uh, I'm using the online editor, but there's nothing to stop you from doing it on your local machine and then pushing it out live. Uh, so we get in the two query string parameters, type uh, and query, and just doing some console login, uh, but depending on the search type from that first drop down list or forum documentation packages, we hit different API endpoints uh, and obviously append the, the query that we want to look for. And then we make the, the request to R and Braco. Uh, we then loop over the results that we get uh, in items as an array. And then we do some uh, a switch case on the type of no type alias. So it tells us, is it a, a project or a package forum uh, and documentation? And then depending on these types, uh, we have extra fields that examine is returning like uh, downloads, uh, karma, um, the replies, um, uh, the solved parameter, um, as long as it's not zero, then um, it hasn't got a, a an answer. If it's got an integer or an ID, then uh, it works. Uh, it looks like someone's trying to make some requests because it's coming in. So this is the format that we needed to kind of transform. So we then just create this object. 
uh, JSON object and then we push it into the array and then we return that array. Um, so yeah, nice and simple project to do in a couple of hours uh, and a nice way to start searching um, on R and Braco from Alfred, really. So pretty neat. Um, I know I'm going to use it. Hopefully uh, it can be approved upon. Uh, if anyone has any suggestions, let me know. Cheers.